Hello and welcome back to my channel, Life with Granny T. My name is Tammy and I'm going to do my affirmations. <clears throat> but first I just wanted to talk about it for a minute. So, affirmations are not things that we're positive about. I mean, a lot of them are things that we know about ourselves. But then there are, we put a few in there because we want to be better at things. Like, um, for example, I said all of my internal organs are functioning properly because I'm having a lot of internal issues. Um, I, I received a lot of, I received a lot of um, wonderful, inspiring words and affirmations from all of you. And I really appreciate it. I haven't had time to write down new affirmations yet. Some of those that you actually said, I don't know that I could repeat because I, it's hard for me. Um, I will do my very best. It, it is important to be able to say them to yourself so that you get stronger and more confident in your abilities. It is not a vain thing. Um, some people could say, you know, because I'm saying I am strong, I am confident, I am courageous, I am brave, I am beautiful, I am amazing, I am kind, I am loving, and I am loved. I am enough. Some people could say, wow, you're vain, but Really, I'm not. Really, I'm struggling daily, just like the rest of you, to know who I am and to keep a positive outlook on life. And these affirmations keep me grounded and they keep me focused and they keep me going forward. Um, and I really appreciate all of you being here with me today. I can control and change my future with my thoughts. My thoughts control and form my reality. And even though I'm conscious of everything going on around me in the world, I am choosing to feed my mind good, healthy, prosperous thoughts. Everything going on around me in the world. I, I think, is there a bone in here that I could have cracked or fractured? Oh, I have a little two minute clip that I might post later. It was over an hour's worth of swimming with my granddaughter and then I sped it up into just a few minutes. <clears throat> but towards the end of it, when I was getting out of the pool, she kicked me like she was just kicking off of the wall, but she connected right here and it has been sore ever since. Um, and it's swollen. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but I am very grateful for every moment I have with them, even for the mishaps that happen along the way. I know that she didn't intentionally try to hurt me. She was just playing and being a kid. And that's a whole nother subject. Do you listen to children? Do you take the time to listen to those around you? Whether they're sharing something about their day or their struggles or their achievements. Um, if a child gives you something, even if it's a rock, do you accept it with gratitude in your heart? Because it was the only thing they had to give and they chose to give it to you. I listen to everything, every detail of their lives that they care to share with me. I do not probe them with a thousand questions or anything. Annabelle has invented a make-believe friend lately. And it's called, she's called Table Bell, and that's okay. When Sarah and Stella were little, they had a make-believe friend named Sally. It's okay, it's part of growing up. It's a phase they'll go through. And I encourage it, it's part of their, um, imagination and I always try to listen to the children I will always try to be here for anyone who needs an ear someone to talk to I will listen and I will try to give the best advice I can give unless you don't want any advice and you just want me to listen I can do that too I'm very good at listening <clears throat> um, I can't remember where I was I don't, 
I'm in the midst of rewriting my affirmations, so I'm just going from what I can remember. And I am grateful. I am blessed. I am so very blessed. I am grateful for each and every moment in time. I'm grateful to be able to get out of bed in the morning and to be able to move. Even, I hate that. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I drank all my tea. Um, I'm very grateful for every moment of time, and I'm grateful for these times that I'm here with you, that I'm able to talk coherently. I know sometimes I ramble, and I can't really... I am focused. I am driven. I am focused. I am driven. But there are times when I just can't focus because the pain becomes so intense. Even with the cream, that cream is amazing. I, I've put it on twice today already just so I could get up and function. Annabelle woke me up this morning. She's like, Granny T, Granny T, come on, I want to go outside and see the moon. Okay, I overslept. It was 8 o'clock when she woke me up. And the moon was still up above the trees, and so we sat outside, and she got a blanket and cuddled up and was singing a song to the moon because she's a nature child, and she really enjoys being outside. I don't see any harm in it, in letting her connect with the world around her. Um, I made them breakfast, bacon, eggs, sausage, toast, normal little breakfast, and they ate all of it. I think there was a couple bites of eggs left and a little bit of toast left that didn't get finished, but, so they ate a really good breakfast. And then, why is the air conditioner running? I don't know. I am grateful for every moment of time that God gives me. So many people are denied the opportunity. This has already went too long. I am a good person and a great friend to all who know me. And I love myself more today than yesterday. Sorry for rambling so long. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Today is Sunday, September 26, 2021. And I hope you have a wonderful, blessed week. Stay safe and healthy, and may God bless you always with abundance, good health, and prosperity. In Jesus' name, amen.